Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, tonight, uh, we, we've got Christian over here. Hello. And uh, Anna. Hello. And, and then I've got uh, my little friends down here as well. So, got a little red wing in the background. So. Uh, so yeah, so we're trying to figure out whether or not we're going to go live on Facebook or YouTube. So we decided to stick to stick with Facebook, but then afterwards we're going to go ahead and upload this, uh, to YouTube later on tonight. So, uh, so so, yeah. see us everywhere. Yeah. We kind of get the message that people, people who had a preference kind of wanted us to stick with Facebook for this. And I do think it gives us a little more diversity in where we're like actually Mm -hmm. casting to, which is good. Plus, as long as it makes it up on YouTube, then random people can watch it later and listen to us talk about Banana Storm, and it'll be good. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Like, words. who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll you know, if we may switch it. Who knows? But right now, we're going to go ahead and stick with Facebook. Hannah so, Montana will be proud. Yeah. Why? And. Did you say uh, why? And apparently, uh, so uh, Randall, uh, I apologize that we're doing this review tonight because uh, he has not secured his banana storm yet. So, sorry, Randall. We still like you though, even if you're not cool enough to have these guys yet. Someone else said banana storm out loud. I'm so happy. No. <laughs> so yeah, um, I've actually seen Nova them, storm. Uh, so. I, I found uh, these guys on Saturday and I bought them for Anna because I was like, we have to do a review on these guys. And then I think I saw them at the Target, um, like closer to my house, actually, uh, yesterday. So, so yeah, so it definitely sounds like that they're around. I know someone else in the Kansas City group, like, posted on, on the other side of Kansas City, I think in Liberty or Lee Summit, maybe. Um, that they found them too. So I've never seen a box for these in person. I got my set for the bro fan price from a secret, secret location. I didn't see a box. My box was like crushed and the tape was already broken and it was fantastic. So I had to open it. Oh, never seen stocked. Yeah, we're going to take a break on Seekers, Randall, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm really trying to get these guys to give me a Legends week it's, next week. Wait a minute, is Skyward coming out next week? At yep. 9th, I ship on Monday. Or oh, coming wow. Monday. Coming Monday. Also, my Thundercracker is apparently coming Monday, so I need to sell something to pay Are for all this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, You're going to have that. a lot of triangles. <laughs> Several triangles. Many. So... The question is, Christian, are you going to have more uh, of your older Seekers or the new ones? Oh, the older oh, ones. Still... Come on. How, how many yeah, they... old ones do you have? I think it's 23. I, I feel like you should have brought them into the review for tonight. All of them? Yes. The whole butterfly board. For, for I can walk person. us over there and we can look at it later if you want. Perfect. Yeah, I think I think after we get done with this, I think we need to all see the Yeah, I'll, I'll walk you over there and I can show you. <clears throat> so should we get on this and start talking about this mold? Yes. Our, we, which one no, are we, we talking did. about? It doesn't matter. <laughs> we did talk about Starscream on we the show, right? Sure. Yeah. Not yeah. Before so, I Starscream, that was cool. Yeah, that's right. Um so we did talk about Starscream on the show. Um, so there is, like, if you dug back, you could find us talking about this mold. But we'll go into it a little bit tonight. I think what's fun about this mold for me is when I was shown initially the pictures of Starscream, like, as the line was starting to come out, I hated it. Like, it was, like, the least favorite <laughs> of the whole line for me. I thought it was me garbage. Too. I would never buy one. And nope. then when Lucas got all the first wave of Siege, I went over to his house to check him out, and I ordered a Starscream that evening because it was, like, one of my favorites in yep. person. And when, and when you two said that Starscream was, like, really good, and, and especially when you said, oh, it's, like, my favorite in person, I was like, oh, really? But I ordered one, too, and, yeah, he's really great. Yeah. So, so I've, I've heard, heard, I've heard so is, far, but. 
I've heard a rumor that the the Starscream um, that's coming out now, like in whatever the the new packs, I, I I can't remember if he's a split pack with Springer now. Is that right? I think it should be with Thundercracker, right? Or with Thundercracker? Probably. Or is it Thundercracker oh, and Megatron? I think it's it Thundercracker, has to be Thundercracker and Megatron. And Megatron. And... Which Star why Phoenix. do they why are they putting Megatron? I don't know. I felt like Megatron clogged the shelves before. Like why yeah. didn't they put Optimus Prime in there again? Is it just because the Galaxy won? Well, they put Optimus with uh, Springer. No, I thought it was Star Scream. Springer, Megatron, uh, Thundercracker. I'm pretty sure Star Scream was with Springer. Anyway, the okay. I've heard a rumor that the newer uh, Star Screams that the chest is actually fixed. I don't know this for sure. I have not confirmed that myself. But no, I, it's I, fun about that is that we've been hearing that rumor since like a day after the darn toy came out, right? Like, remember when you first got your Siege Star Scream? Like, people were already posting, well, mine is a newer one with a pen in it that's all better. And none of that was true or real. And Banana Storm's chest totally popped off like three times while I was transforming him. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like you get it better yet. Different symbols, though. Different what? Different Decepticon symbols. That's true. Wings. That's true. He does have the revised Decepticon symbols. Symbol. symbols. Although, I'm going to say something out loud that I've never said in public. I don't know the difference between the two symbols. I'm sorry. I don't. Well, like, what do you mean? So, so mo- apparently, movie symbols and G1 symbols are different. I, I don't know if this is going to show down. up on camera. So yeah, this it's probably too the, small to show up on camera. This is the old, yeah, it probably. So that's the old one. And I don't know, I probably do it with the banana storm. Banana storm will look best. Guys, his name's Nova Storm. Are they different? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Here, you you put in. Yeah, I'll hold up an. I don't have Starscream next to me, so I can't tell. I've got the Raymakers in red. No, that, that appear to be. Inside. It's just slightly different. I think Annie oh. might be almost too close. Oh, sorry. There you go. I've never been so, but apparently Starscream has the new symbols. Anyway. Now or whatever. <clears throat> so regardless. Um, just to talk about this figure, like, robot mode-wise, um, honestly, this thing poses really well. It's very nice looking. Um, I still think, and I was talking to someone earlier about this, I still think I actually like, as far as getting the Starscream and Seekers look, I think I still like the Classics mold better for that. But as far as a playable action figure that you can pose, and especially putting it on a flight stand, because he's got this nice hole and his butt here that you can put the flight stand in so he can do all those like you know standing in midair with his thruster shoes type stuff um i think this figure is a lot better for that because the classic figure isn't very playable it's way better than what we had before it but this is way better as a toy nowadays yep i agree 100 percent with all that <laughs> and it's the same figure you know the um the guns and the arms come off, go under the wings if you want him to. The legs move around. He's got waist swivel, good head tilt, um, good head movement, ankle tilt, all that good stuff. So it's a very playable, very poseable action figure. With very little um, hollowness, too. They did a good job of minimizing the hollowness. Because we yeah, talked I, about this like, springy part in the leg and all that good yeah. stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I think that that's the most impressive thing about this particular mold is, is that there's really no hollowness, like, at all. Like, they found a way to make it so that the arms aren't hollow, the legs aren't hollow, um, and it, you know, it has a lot of good articulation, so. And you can actually, pretty, mu- pretty much the entire, like, back of the uh, figure, like, comes off, and you can essentially, like, have that separate from the robot and, and make a little plane out of the you know full wings and all that if you want and i think that's a fun idea but i really wish you didn't have to take off the shoulder thingies when you did it because i know those make the wing of the are the nose of the plane so they're essential but it would look a lot more like an action master style seeker guy if he still had the shoulders to me at least um, no, the shoulders are definitely necessary 
But I think when you have a bunch of these guys in your collection, if you're really buying every version of the Seeker Mold, you can definitely afford to at least have one of them where you take off the shell and make a little a little plain buddy hanging out with them. So, so here's my question as far as these guys uh, in general. Are you guys – an do you guys like the paint deco or are you annoyed that there's like not enough diversity? Cause like, I feel like in general looking at these guys is that, you know, there's, <laughs> there's a little bit of, of paint like on the bottom of the wings and all that, but like, it's not the same as the other seekers. Um, and so I know it's something you definitely notice where you're like, wow, this guy is really yellow. This guy is really blue. You know, um, go ahead. Kristen. Okay. The only issue that I've had with the paint deck on any of these guys is that Ion Storm is too dark. Uh, he looks very much like Thunder Gregor, and I wish he was more like really pale, like pale, pale. And I'll show you the one that I have from the Classics mold as well. But the best thing I have at hand to show you what I would like it to look like is you know Big Blue Convoy. I wish it was more of this kind of kind of pale blue color, almost like a powder blue. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. I'd say that uh, my biggest complaint in general is he's too close to Thunder Tanker. So if you're getting that as well, then it's like, well, you got two blue guys. And I realize I think that the tint of the blue is slightly different, I believe, it's different. on Thundercracker. But yeah, it's, it's, it's different. It's not different enough. Right. They're going to look right. real similar on the shelf. Real or, similar. You know, they could have changed the color of the cockpit. I know the rest of them have yellow cockpits too, but you know, they could have something else. Yep. Yeah, I don't think having a red cockpit on, you know, Acid Storm would have been bad. So turn them all red, maybe. I don't know. Something else to diversify to diversify him from Thundercracker. Yeah, I, I would hey. definitely <laughs> agree with that. Um, like, if you made him lighter blue, or even if you made him like a, a purplish blue, or something like that, just so that it's it's different. So, like, that's what that's what I was this is accurate, it's accurate to the show. It, it looks like it's supposed to, but I think taking a, a couple shades brighter or paler, or however you want to say it, would uh, would have been a fine liberty to take with this. Well, and I think even if you flip flop that and did Thundercracker as a paler blue, that sure. could have worked too. Either one of them, really. Right. Yeah. I so. think you would get more people complaining about Thundercracker being "quote unquote" the wrong blue than you would this guy. Because some people yeah. aren't gonna. Like, we'll complain about it being too similar, but people aren't going to not buy him because his blue's off. But if Thundercracker's blue is off, I think people would be like, the Thundercracker purists would be like, no, it's not happening. Yep. Yeah. Out there. No, and, and I know uh, Randall brought up that Thundercracker has a gray chest and, you know, the the, the sacks and all that are gray and, and he does have oh, red yeah, highlights. Yeah. So there, there are, I mean, it's not like you're going to pick him up and you can't tell the difference between the two of them. Um, but I, I would have liked to have been a little bit different. And, and you know what though, if they're planning on more three packs or, you know, whatever packs of these seekers, I'm fine with that too. Um, you know, if we can get up to the, the 23 that we had in, in classics, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Bitstream, hot link and sunstorm, orange sunstorm, please. Cause we already have yellow and that's Nova storm, orange sunstorm. Four. And then we need the cone heads. Cone heads. Yeah. Some of the I random guess. finds, the darkness recolors, that'll be cool. Give them names for the first time ever. That'd be awesome. Uh, G2 guys, uh, Sandstorm, Black Death, G2 Ramjet, Action Master Thundercracker. Ooh, I wonder if they're going to do that. That would be cool. Like, if they continued that, like, G2 theme. Because like, they gave oh, us yeah. the G2 Megatron. So, like, if they could actually start releasing some of the unreleased figures i would be cool with that well there you go we'll, we'll put you know my turbo masters idea versus g2 seeker recolors or g 1.5 seeker recolors both yeah and, and and joe in the chat said he he thinks it's fine to have the rainmakers now uh since they're cybertronian and that the classic seekers already, you know, they already had the main six from those. And and I agree with that. Like I I'm fine with what we've got. Um, I, I think that's about doing half and half and kind of splitting it that way, but that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Earth modes and Cybertron modes. Yeah, sure. So Yeah. I, I, 
I'm just saying I'm down for whatever they want to give us. You know, I, I will buy every seeker that they, they throw at us. Seekers and tapes, they sell forever. Yeah. I, I would love more tapes too. Give us a blaster and some tapes. I would, I would be a fan of that. Just all the tapes. Squawk talk. Rain dance. Uh, oh. I want to get straight into it right now, but I don't think I'd buy a bunch of tapes from this line because I don't like the ones we have so far. But um, I did like want to say, but they probably don't. I did want to say that um, I feel like the only reason I currently own these guys is because of how fun I think it is. It's kind of like a nice, solid, brightly colored big figure like this. Like a nice, bright green, obnoxious toy. Like, I really like that idea. It's fun. But, really obnoxious. However, I would still love it if he had some detail on him. And there's just certain things about the way they did this, Deco, that I don't really like. And that is things like, you know, his whatever you like to call these shoulder thingies on Seekers. That could have just been painted a little gray on the inside or something. Like, for accuracy or not, I don't really care, but just a few lines of color of any sort, even like a nice subdued color, I think would have made them just look a little more finished. I think for some people, they're going to look a little too unfinished. I think you're right, because you can see here on Red Wing that his pylon, I'm calling it shoulder pylons or intake, shoulder intakes, whatever, sure, that, sure. They are, that they're filled in with this white color, which is fine because it breaks up the red. Uh, and you see on Acid Storm here that it's just, you know, more green on green. So maybe I'll take take some paint to these guys and see how that looks. Or that might be a case where Reaper Labels comes to the rescue. Yeah. Yeah. I know they're making sets for these. I haven't gotten them yet, but they look pretty good. They have, like, a little part for the top. Yeah, I hope they offer just all of those parts for the top. I don't really necessarily want all the stickers for all of them. But if I could get just the part, that would be awesome. These guys in no way look bad. I just feel like they could have looked better very easily. The other thing I really wish we would get when we get 200 Seekers is just different faces. Like, I know that there's yeah. at least two faces among all the Seekers. There's at least the face that we already have and the sneering face. But all three of these guys have the same face. It would have been fun to have three different facial expressions. Even if they were all relatively subdued. You know, one's smiling, one's frowning, and one's grinning. Um, I still think that would have made it a little more fun as a set. And I know these sets, sets like this are definitely aimed at the adult completionist collectors, right? So maybe you don't have to do that much for us. I want to talk about the set thing for a moment. Yeah, so yeah. Voyagers are now 30 bucks, right? Kind of across the board. Yeah. You know, it selects Red Wing, that was 30 bucks. But the Seeker 3-pack, you know, the Rainmakers, that was 80 bucks, which, if you do the math, is not as much as three Voyagers cost. You could chalk that up to packaging, but it does seem like, if you know, they had increased the price to 90 like we would expect, that uh, maybe they could have had some more detailing. I, I, don't, think, I don't think they would have batted an eye at that. So out of all the sets, like we mentioned that we're getting the two Amazon sets. Are we getting all three Amazon sets or just the two on Monday? Just two on Monday. The other one's Just the two. The two that go together. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I didn't know because I didn't order the other one. Um, so we're getting the two Amazon sets on Monday. And from the pictures, those seem to have, you know, like somewhere between a retail and a premium um, deco on them. They seem to mm -hmm. be very nicely detailed and whatnot on like these guys. So that is one theory. The other theory is that Target likes to sell things relatively cheap, especially when there are multi-packs like this. And these went to Target. The other ones went to Amazon. So it could just be a Target thing. So I don't think the um, the MicroMasters are a little discounted, too. And yeah, they're just those are 40. as old as all their friends, right? Yeah, they should be a bit more. They should be free. Like, I know people are complaining a lot about the quality of those MicroMasters as far as their legs falling off and stuff. But I well, no, I, I think that the, the, the MicroMaster pack is no worse than any of the other right. MicroMasters, uh, which I think some of them do have a tendency to pop off, I think a couple of the molds uh, off their ball joint. They're not, they're not horrible, but, you know, I, I know that's a complaint that I, I've had as well, that they're just, they're a little bit loose, 
um, and, and all that. But I think I think part of that is is the fact that like like these guys, the joints are really are are pretty good on on these are pretty tight. And so then yeah. if you contrast that compared to those MicroMasters, you're like, oh wait, like these are kind of like what you know what I remember before because the MicroMasters are all ball joints and you know these are um, the universals. You, you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to mention that because yeah, MicroMasters are like the only things that are left that use ball joints really. Battle Masters, I guess, technically. Yeah. And no, these guys are really solid. Like none of mine are blue. None of mine are floppy. Um, none of mine really have any problems on them whatsoever. Even though the box was destroyed on my set, um, they've all been perfectly fine other than the chest popping off thing, but that's a thing with this mold and we know it. Um, so yeah, I think these are just as good as Starscream. And, um, you know, as far as like my opinion on whether or not a person should own them, I think it completely rests on whether they want a bunch of the same mold in different colors. Um, Joe was asking, uh, he- that he may have joined a little bit late, uh, whether or not they fixed the chest on uh, the Rainmakers. I think it's a little bit better than the original Starscream, but it still pops off. Mine still popped off when I transformed Banana Storm like a couple times. I haven't had any of mine pop off. I did on Starscream. That's yeah, mine does. doesn't seem too There's bad. There's no pin or anything. They, they right. might add a pin. No, there's they no won't. pin. There, there won't be a pin, but... Uh, it, it seems to be better. So my ion, my ion storm seems like it's a little bit loose. Um, my, uh, what's the ba- banana storm? Nova storm. Well, let's see. Nova storm. Thank you. Nova storm is, it's not that bad. Acid storm is not that bad. So I think it's kind of like your mileage may vary on it. Um, yeah. 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 Red I literally seems like just removed good. these guys from the plastic, like the, the blue one and the green one. Banana Storm's been out for a couple days because he had to heat up with my bananas. Yeah, my, my Red Wing is actually pretty loose. So, yeah. I, I think it's just, yeah. it totally depends on which one you get. Yep. This is Ion Storm. I can't pull it off. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm, that's I'm really good. trying. I can't get it. That's awesome. Like, if I, if I guess if I, like, really ripped it with some force. I was applying a, a lot of force there, though. Yeah. Mine's like that too, actually. That's funny because my banana storms popped off right away. I do have a tolerance issue on his uh, null ray. One of them is molded too small, or the hole is molded too big. So you want to just fell off. Oh. So, Some future will take care of that. Good. So my my biggest complaint uh, too about these guys is uh, with the battle damage. So the battle damage is the exact same on every single of these seekers. Which is kind of annoying now that I'm going to have, how many do we, are we going to have, uh, what, seven? Seven. Yeah, so it's like, can you vary that up just a little bit? Yeah, I I feel the same with you. I also, I feel like because there's so, because the amount of paint on these guys otherwise is so much lower, I think it feels like the battle damage is just absolutely excessive. Especially like, you know, the banana storm thing was um, inspired by me seeing people post how this guy resembles a um, a little too ripe banana, um, which, you know, I'm the one who made the photo for tonight's show. And honestly, like it transcends all three of them because they're relatively one color simplified decos. It um, it really stands out that they have a ton of battle damage, which is just like grayish brown paint all over them. It's a little bit of a bummer. Like, I think the battle damage comes off a lot better on Starscream. Or even Red Wing, I think his battle damage is better. Oh, I think so. It's the same pattern. The knees look a bit different, but then it may just be because they're a different color. Uh, but, yeah. I think Lucas is right. I think they're all the same. Much better. Just that spot on the left wing there. Like, I can tell that's the exact same spot I'm looking at. So I'm looking at, I have these two guys studying right in front of me so I can see their box. Mm-hmm. And it's the same pattern. <laughs> You know, weird thing. I, I don't think we've addressed this yet. Target exclusive. Target exclusive. Target will make all the airplanes? I guess so. Or air triangles, well, sorry. Well, but a- Amazon is getting it on the game, too. Though, so. Oh, it's true. They got the sky Amazon mark. has one. Yeah. General Elite has two, and Target has four. Huh? Huh? 
Target likes triangles. Yay. So, um, Anna, I do think it's funny that you, you find a way to throw that BMOG in for, like, all, all the shows now, huh? Well, you know, honestly, like, I'm trying to find, because I'm getting all these, like, battle masters and various, like, I want to call them, like, melee weapon masters, um, and I'm trying to find friends for them. Like, I like them to have a figure that they actually look good with, and a lot of it's just color matching at this point or color coordination. And really, like, the two greens work together really well. So I'm probably going to have him hang out with my B-Log set. Like, it can just be, you know, Acid Storm B-Log Adventure. That's totally fine. That's nice. I think it works. And it's just, like, most of my um, most of my melee weapon guys are on my female Autobot set because I thought it kind of made them fun to all have their little animal companion friends since um, one of them came with Dazzle Stark. Um, but, yeah, Still I'm just trying to find name. friends. For all of them. You know, Target Masters are at their best when they have a big friend to um, coordinate with and look cool. I really love Target Masters. Have I ever said that on the show? <laughs> Just once or twice. Okay, cool. I just had to get that out there. For the new yeah, viewers. Joe, uh, Joe in the chat was saying that he doesn't like the battle damage either. I'm really curious to see uh, whether or not they're going to release more without the battle damage. Like, um, you know, they're doing the cell shaded uh, Optimus and Megatron. So that looks worse to me. But they haven't actually released like what the physical thing's going to look like. There's some pretty good pictures of what it's going to look like, and I don't think it looks any better. I'm a Christian. Like, I don't know about worse. I don't know if that's the word I would use, but I think it's still like. It's like it's still a good mold with unnecessary crap on it. And yeah. I kind of wish it was just a clean version being released. Like it wasn't cell shaded. It was just like clean. It's almost like it's so weird to me that they think they need to put this extra stuff on these molds as opposed to the older ones that didn't get it. Because mm -hmm. these do not need extra stuff to make them look good. These are really good molds. They would look fine with just, like, the appropriate paint apps on them. They don't need extra battle damage or cell shading. They're good to go. Where a lot of the but older toys you, they use something. Would you have ever thought that there would be a day where you're like, Hasbro is putting too much paint on these things. Stop putting so much paint. <laughs> it's not, I mean, I realize I, realize I know. Like, it, yeah. I, it's I, I know it's, it's the, yeah. It's only because their idea of putting paint on it is to get a wet paintbrush and shaking it over a finished figure. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't complain ever. So, I mean, like, we really don't have a whole lot to say about these guys specifically. Do we just want to throw out a recommendation whether or not we like them? Because I know Lucas wanted to try to talk about some of the new reveals tonight, too, before we went off air. And I'll walk over to my other secret display while we do that. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So Yeah, we, yeah we promised that to, uh, to everybody, Kirsten. So there yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So as far as my recommendation for these figures, I think I've already said it, but I'll say it again. I, if you're a completionist and you want to play a set of seekers, you might get the opportunity because they might make them all the time again. Um, and I think that, you know, if you really like this figure, you know, you probably have it as Star Screamer, you've at least seen it. I think think that you know if you buy the set you're getting the same figure three times and if you like it and if you like it enough to own three of it four if you already own starscream up to seven if you own the three main seekers um i think it's worth getting it's fun it's nice um but you're not going to be blown away by anything unique about them because there is nothing unique about them other than the color that's my thought and there's the beautiful airplane display. Yes. The and here is, here's the CHMS Ion Storm. So I'll put it in the light there and you can see it a little bit better maybe. It's this pale, pale blue. Again, like powder blue, like I was mentioning. And I think that would have been a better choice than the darker blue that they ended up using. Can you see that okay? Yeah, it shows up really well. Yeah, try to show the whole board again for everybody, if you can. I will. I've got to hang, I've got to hang Ion back up. So it's the I whole board. It's a cool display. 
So you got Ion on there with his buddies. You know, they pretty much nailed Acid Storm's color there and Nova Storm's color there, but Ion is now darker than he used to be. Also, if you want to look at the other Acid Storm, that's what he used to look like. I wouldn't be surprised if we got uh, Bitstream here, uh, Hotlink, you know, this version of Sunstorm, I don't want. I'd rather have this one, the orange one. Uh, special thanks to fellow cast member Sergio for making me this Red Wing and Shadow Glass Dirge for my display. Here's the delightful Action Master Thundercracker. There's Black Death, we could definitely have that one. Uh, G2 Starscream, G2 Ramjet. And then I have three Air Warrior clones. That makes anybody it's a good. cool display. I have one that's not an actual classic Seeker mold, but I think she belongs anyway. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five. 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, My mistake. Good job. You're selling yourself short there, Christian. I was. I just got these at the beginning of the year. I'm used to having the smaller number. These are new. All right. So, Lucas, recommendations on Makers of Rain? Um, I mean, I, I think, like, overall, I would probably say skip it unless you're a hardcore completionist. Um I, I'm kind of on the fence about it just by the fact that they're $80. I think that that's probably the right price for these. But, you know, to me, unless you're a crazy person, it's it's like just get your, you know, the main three. I think those are neater. And honestly, like, we didn't really uh, talk about uh, Red Wing, but, like, I, I think I like Red Wing better than these three. Like, as far as the paint deco and everything. I think he's better. Just straight up. Plus, he has the other face. He does have the other face. I don't know. I get these. Two of them I never had toys before, unless you want to count the KOs that I have over there. So uh, if, you, if you're if you looking for new characters, yes, please get this box. Plus, Acid Storm has never appeared officially in this color before. So I say get them, but you know, if you're not a huge completionist or you don't care about the new characters, then maybe don't worry about it. I do. I got them. I love them. Yeah, fair recommendation. All right, so do we want to continue and talk about the other stuff or not? What do we think? Um, I mean, we've gone a fair amount of time. I, I don't know. If yeah, we have people, already. You know, want to? Uh, yeah, and, now, Anna, you keep talking about how you want a show that's only like thirty minutes or something. So thirty um, to forty-five, because we're micro. So here, here's my question, Anna. Um, so. You know, overall, so there is a, a show in Hong Kong uh, where they release some new third party stuff. And of course, you know, we, we talk about, you know, our love of, of all things legends and uh, third party legends. So from from that show, um, the uh, Magic Square re uh, revealed uh, several of their Decepticon Seekers and Megatron. And then New Age did it uh, revealed theirs at the exact same time. So, which one are you more excited about, Anna? So, the only one that I've done direct comparisons on is Megatron. And I can't really decide which one I like better because the the front profile, or not front profile, but the, the straight-on look for the front of Megatron looks better on the New Age. Like, because his chest is a little bit oddly big on the Magic Square, I feel like he looks better. However, we still haven't seen the Magic Square in color, and I think that the finish on the New Age actually looks kind of strange. So I have a feeling that the more matte finish on the Magic Square will actually appeal to me more. You didn't expect a short answer, did you? <laughs> That's good, because you're not getting one. Um, I haven't compared the Seekers. I will probably go Magic Square just because I like Magic Square better. Like, I just um, most of my Legends figures are going to be Magic Square. I like the way they look. I think that the washed out different plastic, the color palette on them actually captures G1 looks better than the more like the more normal look for toys does. I think it really works well for G1 characters. So I'll probably want those mostly. And I mean, 
that sound wave and those cassettes that Magic Square showed off are just absolutely amazing looking to me. Like a rumble and frenzy with that much articulation at that size, even though their cassette mode is probably going to look like a triple layered piece of crap. Um, I am just absolutely pumped for those two guys. Yeah, I, uh, to me, I feel like the uh, the Seekers uh, and uh, Megatron, to me, look better for New Age. But then, I mean, you're right about Sandwave and his cassettes. Like, I mean, those just look freaking amazing, uh, the cassettes especially. And so here's the here's my problem just in general, like, between New Age and Mag- Magic Square and all that. Like, they're they're all pretty close in their look. But then they're all like all over the board with their scale and all that type of thing. And you can't really mix and match. It's like somewhat hard to do that. And so, I don't know. I kind of am getting slightly annoyed that all these companies are releasing, you know, really close versions of that. And that makes me want to nitpick like all of them. Like, I feel like if there was one of each... I wouldn't nitpick as as much as like, well, I like this better on Magic Square, I like this better on New Age, uh, yada yada. Um, and so that's why I kind of think I'm just going to mainly go Iron Factory because they all have their own look and they all are painted very well. They're all very solid <coughs> figures. Um, that'll be my answer for this week. And then next week, you know, tune in and see what I say because I'll probably switch, <laughs> s- switch what I'm thinking. But um but yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's all a great time to be a Legends collector. Oh, and then um, they also released this week, uh, Mech Fans Toys uh, released images for a an Astro Train that looks really good as well. Really good. Like, like, crazy like, good. As, like it looks as good as a Siege. Like, it's gonna, not going to it have better as better as a Siege. Well, you know. It doesn't have hole in this. It looks like a little perfect it little magical hol- friend. It still has the, the legs are no hol- hol- just the same. It's beautiful. The, the legs are the exact same where there's a hollow bit on the inside of the legs. But I'm going to run um, away with that. <laughs> Stop it. The, it it's not going to have the same level of articulation just because the legs don't have the same articulation. But You're right um, about that. So, it but, does but, look like they really tried to make those ankles really flexible though like from the pictures they've shown like they were really trying to show off the ankle tilt so i think they're trying to show like we can do this too and um i mean it just looks like a really good g1 style cartoon accurate astro train i'm honestly hoping that he's pretty big like i'm hoping for something like lord scorpion size just to have more like big legends to hang out with mine because i don't care about official skill like lucas does i care about skill that looks cool like, I'm okay with, you know, Astro Train being bigger than the other guys because he's a space shuttle um, and a train, which are both large. I'm I'm fine with that as long as he looks good with them. Like, you know, a good example is that Siege Jetfire. I cannot put him with my Siege toys because it doesn't look right to me to have a guy that much bigger. I know it's accurate. I know that's the size Jetfire is supposed to be, but I'm putting him with my Masterpiece instead because I think he looks better with um, toys about as tall as he is, I think it just looks better. So I'm not as much of a scale purist as Lucas, but I'm still just as crazy about it, just in a different way. Obsessed? Obsessed with it. So, yeah. I, um, we need to uh, somehow convert Christian into being into Legends, though. Unfortunately, <laughs> we have not been able to run... Uh, you know, to, to get him into it. So they tried for nine months to get me to do it. And I, well, you, guys are, figure. you guys are trying really hard to get me to go to this event called TFCon and Christian will be there and I will be there. Maybe if I go in person and if There's I do, no I'm, maybe, gonna, be I'm going to show up to your door with a bag over my shoulder full of legends. And that I'm just going them? to, you. <laughs> my plan was to just expose you to them until you love them. So perhaps oh. I put you in the bag with them and shake it. That sounds fun. Hey, uh, quick Legends question. Uh, you, you referred to the cassettes, the Magic Square cassettes, uh, with their alt mode as a certain <laughs> object. Could you uh, tell us what that is again? A triple layer piece of crap. That was it. Thank you. Yeah, that is correct. No, okay. It, okay. So the idea there is I have, um, 
I have the, it's the knockoff of the DX9 one, but I have the sound wave that came out, the DX9 version. And I have the um, blaster that came out from Magic Square. And both of them come with cassettes. Like the Ravage from DX9, I think is the worst culprit on this. It's a cassette, right? But it's two layers. Like the um, the, the laser beak is a normal one layer cassette. Like it feels more like a tiny version of a cassette. But um, the Ravage like, is just unnecessarily two layers. Well, I, necessarily because necessarily. otherwise you couldn't have that many parts. So right. I'm imagining with how much more complex these Magic Square guides are, with now being that much bigger, they're just going to be like three or four layers thick. Like, yeah, I guess we haven't really seen like that yet. Yeah, I think they're going to go in their Soundwave's chests. There's probably only one's going to fit, but it's probably not going to actually look like a cassette. It's going to be like they transform into cubes or spheres or blob. If, if they did not transform at all, but they still looked as good as they did, and they came with single layer, I guess, plates that look like their cassette mode to go in Soundwave's chest, would that be acceptable to you? I don't even need the plate. If they were non-transforming versions of that size that like looked as good as like Little Teeny Beachcomber or the um, Insecticons that we got from New Age recently, if they looked that good and they didn't transform, I'd be fine with it. Just because they're so small and I really love Rumble and Frenzy, so I want a good version of them. Um, so much so that I think I'm probably going to order that reproduction of the, um, the MMC ones because I just, I like them. Um I I would be fine with them not transforming because I don't think we have evidence that they actually do transform yet, do we? I don't think I'm there's sure they transform. Like, why would they? I imagine they do, but I don't think there's hard evidence yet that they do. Them or Ravage, because their Ravage is also like way more. The thing is, to me, is they're not that much. They're bigger than the DX9 ones. They're not that much bigger than the DX9 ones that they're so much more complex and detailed. So I just don't know what's going on, but I look forward to finding out. Oh, what do you think? Like, what if this is just me completely like throwing this out there? What if like the rumble was two cassettes that were separate that actually joined together? Like one made the top half of rumble, one made the bottom. They pegged together really nice and tightly, like kind of like a flywheel style thing. Um, but it's two separate cassettes that both kind of look vaguely like sets in his chest, and then they form a completely like beautiful rumble. I think I'd be cool with that. I think I'd like that. That's probably not what's happening, but I think I'd like it. I think that'd be a fine compromise to make. Sorry, guys, I'm nerding out. I'm getting excited. I know how I am. Yeah. See, you know, Christian and I, we we start reviewing some. Uh, Hasbro Seekers, you know, we get all excited. And then at Anna, we start talking about Legends and just have you go off for like 15 minutes. It's absolutely. Like, that's why when you were like, let's go ahead and do the, um, whatever they're called, Rainmakers this week, I was like, but I wanted to do the bugs. Because I could talk about those bugs, those teeny tiny bugs with like two-step transformations for like four hours. But these guys, after 15 minutes, are like, okay, cool, it's yellow. It's banana. Well, I wanted I wanted uh, uh, you to wait for you uh, yeah, for you to get your black iron hide in. I hope I do. I hope I do so, in time. It didn't ship till yesterday. So I'm worried. Oh no. I'm a little worried because it took a while to ship. So we'll mm. see. If we don't though, I'll just go play with your ratchet again. It's fine. There, there you go. I'm so, so excited okay. for more legends. Yeah. See, I feel like overwhelmed. Like th- this is my problem is, is like there's too much stuff coming out. I forgot those Amazon exclusives are coming out next week too. It's like, I'm getting too much crap because it's like, you know, I've ordered all this stuff and then now it's all hitting. So. You know, what's funny when new age makes their version of these guys, cause they will, cause new age loves to repaint when they make a seeker, they will release 50 different colors. That seeker, you know, they will. Um, when they make their version, it's actually going to be significantly more expensive than these guys were. Because these guys were 80 bucks for the set, and New Ages are going to be at least 35 a piece shipped from most places. Probably a little bit more, because I think Seekers are generally a little bit bigger well, you don't than know the that like, for car sure. guys. Like, if they put them in for three packs, like uh, 
the Insecticons, I think, were 65 for a three-pack. So it's possible that if they throw it into a big pack or something, you know, and it's like the fifth repaint, it, it yeah, may not be they're actually that bigger. Because they're going to be bigger than the cars. Yeah. And the cars are a solid 35 each. Yeah, I, I guess it's, it's hard to say. We'll, we'll see. So, I think they're going to be significantly more. I mean, they're premium figures where these are retail, and those are closer to, like, many masterpieces, as you like to say. Um, but it's still funny to me that I will feel better about spending like $45 a piece on those than I did on spending $80 on three of these duders. I'll just be like, whatever, these are wonderful. And these are like questionable. But are you going to get a banana storm from new age? I mean, if I do get a banana storm, I think everyone else will not make it look like a banana. I think this is an oddity that only happened because they're obsessed with battle damage right now. And he's super yellow. And I mean, it's not even actually brown. It's actually kind of a grayish brown paint, but it really does banana fy him. Now you have me excited about bananas. <laughs> so if you get one that doesn't have the battle damage, will you call him by his appropriate name? Uh, maybe. I'll probably call him by his third party name, though. Just Which no will way. be like Proton Typhoon or something. The other synonyms. That's actually really good. <laughs> uh, sorry, right. have we had enough anti excitement now? <laughs> yeah, I, I think we have. So, so Ooh, there there's one other big reveal from the show that that was cool though, right? Right. What? There's a. They're gonna make a mohawk. Some company that I've never heard of. It is the game of Hawk. Oh, yeah, like the, the one non-Legends thing that was there, yes. Yeah, so the dumb movie. Well, we, yeah. don't, we don't know that they're actually going to make it. They showed something off, but... Uh, uh, don't crush my dreams. I am so excited for that. That was the one character in that movie. Well, actually, him and Nitro Zeus. When I saw them, I was like, oh, man. Those guys got to get toys. They're so cool. And then, you know, they were in the movie for like 35 seconds. But it didn't matter because their designs were awesome. He's this little gremlin dude who looks like he's like a reject from Fist of the North Star. Um, it's fantastic. I am really excited for a Mohawk toy. I, I guess you know. I'm sorry. I, I don't. I, I care about him in the sense that he was the only non-Legends thing there. But uh, otherwise, yeah. Uh, MMC was so there pumped. too. Yeah, but we've already seen their stuff. It still looks good. I still want it, but we've seen it before. True yeah. enough. There was something else there that wasn't Legends, right? What was it? Oh, um, were the 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 new Predacons weren't there? Just the pictures oh, right. came out roughly the same time. I forgot about those. The, uh, are they Toy they World? Toys. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they're Toy they're World, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Toy World and something else collaboration. Yeah. I, I think they're neat. There's going to be a gorilla in the set. That's weird. Oh, that is weird. I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah, they're making a six part. From what I've heard. I think when they show the silhouettes of all of them, there's a gorilla back there. So that's interesting. Mm. All right. There you go. Yeah. All right. I'm getting excited about this stuff. We have someone talking about New Age in the comments. Oh, so did we? I didn't see that. I think they like it. Oh, I'm sorry. My, um, I didn't scroll down. They mentioned that the New Age repaints are labeled exclusive. Um, and I will say, like, we are getting some really fun repaints from New Age, like that taxi ratchet. I'm going to buy that thing so hard. Like, I'm so excited for how weird that looks. I love it. Um, see, I like that kind of stuff, though. Like, I like sure. that kind of weird stuff more than I like the um, obscure characters that have never gotten a toy before type thing. It's actually more fun to see my, like, favorite characters repainted as a taxi. <laughs> Um, but yeah, did you get, and, did you get and, overcharged for the mini con taxi from universe? Oh goodness. Do I have, I, I don't think I've ever even seen it. Oh, I'll show it to you. So are the, are the, uh, taxi. It's wonderful. Are the two, uh, MMC DJD members that are left, uh, are they going to be half a Unicron? Probably more than that. <laughs> at least, probably at least half a Unicron. And I honestly, like, this is the first time, and you can never hear me say this again. This is the first time I'm going to say I actually think that Iron Factory did a better job with the two big guys than NMC did. 
because the two big guys from MMC come off really like kind of boring. Whereas in the small little um, Iron Factory scale, I think they come off more interesting. And they combine. And whatever. Yeah, yeah whatever. They look better. I can buy them like silly. True, but I, I need them to be in scale with everything else I have. I agree. I, I feel the same way. But um, I don't know if I'm going to complete the set. They just, they're not big we'll see what, characters. We'll see what the price looks like. I've got three out of five already. I feel like I should. Uh, I pre-ordered the second round of uh, Nickel and the Pet. Oh, did you? I don't really, I don't really care I really about want Pet it. so much. I, I do want Nickel. I want Nickel. Not Pet. Pet is in like a nice bonus, I guess. I actually prefer the Beast Wars Ravage repaint and Nickel. That would be fine. They don't go I'd, together, but whatever. I'd probably get that Beast Wars Ravage repaint if I didn't already have Beast Wars Ravage. Right. Which, right. you know, is me flexing on you, and I apologize, but I have it. It's oh, like, it's, it's fine. I had Beast Wars Ravage. I just didn't keep any of my Beast Wars. You had a Beast Wars Ravage? I think so. I think so. Transmetal? I want to say I did. Cool. I want to say I did, but I might be wow. crazy. I had a lot of Beast Wars, Christian. Cool. I had a lot. I had like four bins of Beast Wars. And you probably have. just There's when. There's so many things you can fill up. I had multiples of. I had like three Tripredicuses. That's a lot of Tripredicus. I sold them all and I wish I had it. I miss Tripredicus. It's a really stupid combiner. It's great. I sold one last year that I could have sold to you. Well. You didn't know me yet, so it's okay. Not yet. Oh, well. All right. So we've got to keep playing right. the stuff. Yes. That, so, uh, you're the uh, one who's so going to talk about that toy show. On, on that toy note, show. Uh, on that note, though, I think that uh, we have veered off topic enough, and we probably should end the show. So, uh so yeah, um, later on, uh, you know, just to give everyone a heads up. We are going to be putting some pre-recorded content uh, up on the YouTube page. Uh, Ouch, my wallet uh, is going to come up, and then um, I think we're working on a couple other shows uh, as well. Uh, that I'm not exactly sure where they're going to debut, and then we, of course, will also be live on uh, YouTube on Sunday uh, at noon Eastern uh, for uh, for TFYLP again. So. We have a topic. We have a plan. We might even have people. So get excited for some day. If we're if we're lucky, not sure. Yeah. So yeah. Or it might just be a like straight with the topic. We'll figure oh, it out. Just kidding. And then catch us again next Tuesday. Yeah, yeah that's right. When I get to talk about legends, there, there you go. Tune in. Woo! I'll talk about box. I'll be so excited. All right. Night, everyone. Good night. See you next time. See you.